I'll go get him a history lesson. You better be sure you're ready for this. Showtime. Starting with an expensive high heel on the cobbled NYC street and a plea to go make me some money by Leah Lawrence federal prosecutor Angela Valdez. The July 17th debuting season three of Power finds the horizon of ambition, well, it might just be a prison unto itself. Jamie, this is amazing. Though not for the star show itself, which takes off into realms that it only hinted at before. And I thought the Courtney Kemp created series were pretty good before. However, this season is where the queens of Lauren, Notori Naughton, and Lucy Walters, plus the pivotal addition of Roots alumni Annika Noe Rose, confidently checkmate and capture the on-screen drama to reveal who is really playing this long game. And let me tell you, you don't want to miss that play. Tom's gonna get us all killed. We need you out in these streets. I need you. Picking up soon after the battle and the cliffhanger that ended season two and launching Stars' move into the prestige leagues of Sunday night, Power's new run finds the premium cablers most watched series stepping out into its high wire point, where the consequences of smuggled and apparent consequences, the place where most series aim to end, are the starting narrative in town now. Or as head to toe leading man Omari Cardwick's ghost trying to leave the drug world behind, start a new life with Lawrence Valdez, and get some credit in the straight world, says in the season opener, drugs sell themselves. Legit takes more work. Yes, they do. I hear you have a problem. Apparently I can help. Especially with jilted but nowhere near defeated Naughton as Ghost now alone wife Tasha, and Walters as the always watching and ambitious Holly, girlfriend to Ghost's old partner Tommy, played yet again with fine explosive tension by Joseph Sakura. And the stated theme of this attention demanding season being Ghost must die. Ghost needs to be dead soon. Drenched in the dialects, divisions, diversity, and mashups that are NYC, from borough to borough, background to background, and block to block, Power's power has long gotten its charge from its sense of authenticity, mediated and raw, that comes partially from the oversight of co-star and EP Curtis Jackson, aka 50 Cent. Because along with showrunner Kemp, these two are intent on keeping it real or die trying. But as I said before, this run, it's truly a woman's world. And the men are in the game, but they're not the game, if you know what I mean. I know you can kill Ghost. Do it for me. With everyone working an angle to what they hope they want, plus corrupt cops, Mexican drug lords, broken homes, strange bedfellows, and healing wounds, a lot of them on faces and bodies, some impressions, some Corey Hart, and to quote Sakura's Tommy, how green do you want to f***ing get? The full package of season three of Power, which is the best way to delve into this ensemble, has the rare TV distinction of having painstakingly high production value, but lacking the slick glibness that so commonly accompanies such style. But now, and you get that I'm not going for any spoilers, but what I am going for is that with the third season, Stars' most watched series has become its strongest. And in the slate of Outlander, The Girlfriend Experience and more, that's a lead and follow force to be reckoned with. I'm Dominic Patton for Deadline Hollywood.